So essentially, after our Ajax call completes, we can actually use that J content in the same way that we were using it uh, within our original uh, representation. So we can output that content and so on. So I'm going to just quickly copy some of that over from the previous lesson and just show you how this is going to work out. Uh, so now we see that we, we, we are able to log out that J content. I'm going to get rid of some of this. Uh, excess spacing. Um, I can even update it. So I believe that this is the, going to be the correct format. Uh, so we'll see what actually happens and gets output here and get rid of that one there. So this was just that same code and also additionally where we were updating that uh, initial uh, ja JavaScript object and we were accessing it. Uh, so I just want to demonstrate that we still have that same ability of accessing the content within that same format uh, as we were looking at initially with JavaScript objects. And that was the, the purpose of going through the JavaScript objects so that now we can get to this point where we can work with them as JavaScript objects and uh, as we would have with any other JavaScript object. So we see here we've got our John 2, Smith 2, Office, New York. Uh, so this is that object being returned and we can pull out that data just as we were doing previously and address should have asked the trick question first uh, so we see that New York is being output here so do you think that the address now has changed to Toronto uh, so remember we did it as we have did before where we did address city and we defined it as Toronto instead of the default New York so when I go out here and if you were looking, I actually did open this up and it does say Toronto now. So now uh, we're updating the objects within that same format as we were initially doing it in the earlier lessons. So in the upcoming lessons, we're gonna look at maybe accessing one of these online files, these JSON files, and pulling out that information uh, and uh, showing you some additional things that you can do with JSON. So that's coming up in the next set of lessons.